Welcome to a brand new episode of Instacar Exchange. Today, we're reviewing this 1968 Pontiac Firebird, part of the pony car genre, which are muscle cars made to be sporty, compact, and good looking. The best example being the Ford Mustang. The Pontiac Firebird actually did not originally intend it to be this way. Pontiac actually wanted to make a two-seater sports car, a smaller one, but at the time, GM, the parent company, did not want the Firebird to rival the Chevrolet Corvette and therefore we now have this pony car Firebird which actually resembles closer to the Chevrolet Camaro instead. Most people, especially if you're not American, are probably more familiar with the later versions of the Firebird, the one with the huge ghastly Firebird sticker on the front hood of the car. This, however, is actually the much rarer and much more beautiful first generation of the Firebird being produced from 1967 to 1969. Now the base cars originally came with an inline six engine with 3.8 liters, but there are also a few V8 engines that you can pick from, anything between 5.3 liter to 6.6 .6 liter, with horsepower ranging from 250 horsepower to about 330 horsepower. Later models even had the Ram Air engine, which is even more powerful, pumping about 350 horsepower. Now this particular car was originally manufactured in GM's Ohio plant before it was sold to Connecticut where it lived most of its life before it slowly withered away. In early 2000s, someone picked it up and did a thorough two year plus frame off restoration to put this car back to perfect condition. After the restoration, the car went on to win many, many different awards in different muscle car shows, including one which was called the best of the best award. Eventually, the car found itself in a dealership being for sale in Florida before an Englishman bought it online, sight unseen, and shipped it over to the UK. The Englishman enjoyed it for a few years in the UK and finally put it on sale again when the current owner saw it and bought it and now shipped it here. So this car has lived in quite a few places before. Originally, it came with the inline six engine, the base model, but during the restoration, it was replaced with the Firebird 400, which is the 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine. It also had some modifications, including a Ram Air 3 camshaft. So this car now should be making at least 330 horsepower and likely more. So let's see how it drives around the roads of Hong Kong. So it's now time to go for a drive around Sheko. Perhaps not the best choice of roads, but let's see how it handles. Now to start, it's very simple. It's a carburetor engine. So you put your foot down in the pedal, turn, and it fires up. Pretty good sound, pretty good sound. Very American V8, which it is. Now this car is a automatic with a three speed. So no nothing to do with the clutch here. So let's go. Now, like everything else in this car, the transmission is very, it's not really indicative. Like uh, when you're pulling it down, it's almost like pulling down a smooth stream. So you're kind of wondering which gear you're in. Immediately, when we were driving in here, there, a lot of concentration is needed because first of all, as you can see, it's a left-hand drive. So I have to focus a lot to make sure uh, I'm, I'm close to the wall and not going to, to the other lane. Huge 
blind spot on the right, not because of the car's design, but because we're not used to looking uh, to the right for, for cutting lanes on the highway. And it also doesn't help that like many classic cars, they don't have the uh, wing mirror on the other side. So lots of concentrating to do. And this rear view mirror here, it's a bit wobbly and loose. So every time I put it you know, to a right spot where I can see it out the back, in about 90 seconds, it drops back down and I have no view of the back again. So that could be a cop behind me for all I know. But I'm sure, you know, if you're actually owner of the car, these things you can get used to relatively quickly. The brakes are actually pretty good. There's not really any um, scary moments when you step on the brakes. Listen to that. I'm going to step on it, but woo! That is American muscle. If it's fast too, as mentioned, this guy will be pumping up your 300 something horsepower. Now, you see me slowing down a lot in the corner because I have absolutely no intention on going fast because aside from the brakes, this car inspires zero confidence in the corners. It's very wobbly. The, the steering doesn't really go anywhere. You have no idea where you're turning to. Um, so here's the tight triangle corner. I'm taking it really easily. The weight shifts more than the Jaguar 420G we tested a while ago. But again, it's one of those things once you get used to is fine. Uh, you're not exactly going to be breaking any speed records, but you're not supposed to. With a car like this in check oh this is a purebred american muscle car so on highways is where it belongs not here but it's nevertheless interesting to try how how it goes around here listen to that engine oh yeah now we're talking now it's coming to life Break, break. Now, just by how it goes on the straight, you can tell the previous seller wasn't lying when they said the car went through a rather recent thorough restoration because the car is running quite well. And there are no unnecessary pops and bangs, there are no delays, throttle response is good, power is good. But seriously, when you turn, you're braking, you're turning, but the head is still going to a straight. So you really just slow down for the corners and just enjoy your way out and make sure, you know, you're not really going across the lane since it's a left-hand drive. But listen to that sound. Woo! Makes it worth it. Makes it worth it. You can see why there's such a following for American muscle, not only in America, but even places like Hong Kong, we have quite a good population of them. And that's because of what's coming out the back, the noise. Ooh. Now there are some people walking on the left, I have to make sure I don't kill them, because I'm still getting used to the left-hand drive. So, in summary, Interesting car, very American, everything you expect from an American muscle car, but I'm quite grateful I get to test this because it kind of sits right between the two other American muscle I've tried before. The left-hand drive Corvette, you remember, that's a smaller uh, genre of this car, and also the Mercury Cougar. The Cougar is also a pony car, but it's even you know, much bigger than this one. This one is exactly you know, in the middle, with the sort of Ford Mustang type um, of American muscle, and it's, it's quite an experience. Again, you know, would I want to drive it to Sheko every day if I own it? Absolutely not. But otherwise, driving around Hong Kong, just enjoying the sort of atmosphere, enjoying the, the engine note, makes this car really quite attractive. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like, please subscribe. Please remember to click the bell button next to the subscribe button so you know when our video will be coming. Thank you and have a good day.